I love Innsbruck. I love this hotel. I don't want to leave. <laughs> Just another beautiful day here in Innsbruck. So we're just booking our next couple of stays for the next couple of cities that we're going into, and that made me realize that Innsbruck wasn't even on our radar. Now, when it comes to booking a typical trip through Europe during the summer, Innsbruck probably isn't on the top 10 of almost anybody's lists. Innsbruck can be an unfortunately easy place to overlook. I've spent nine total months in Europe over the past 10 years, and I've never even been here once. But so far, we've been absolutely blown away by this place. Last night when we were walking around the city, I was thinking, this is the first place that I could see myself living outside of the US. That's huge. So we're here to say, don't sleep on Innsbruck. I don't even completely remember how we decided to book Innsbruck, but it was kind of one of our best decisions made ever. We had been traveling nonstop, seeing site after site in Venice and Rome and in Florence, and we were kind of looking for that perfect balance that we had been talking about for so long. Perfect balance of spending versus saving and exploring versus downtime, and Innsbruck just seemed like the perfect place. And it was a plus that neither Josh nor I had ever been there before. It just seemed like the perfect place for us to slow down a little bit, be a part of nature, but also enjoy some historical culture and some city life. Our first couple of days here, we honestly just spent a lot of time walking through the streets of Innsbruck. And we could immediately tell there's just a different vibe. Innsbruck has this cool, laid back, but also local kind of vibe. It's very diverse and a bonus for us, a lot of people speak English and very graciously bear with us when we try to speak German. Speaking of balance, we've been in the hotel now for about 12, 13 hours. So it's time to go. Whoa, look at those clouds. Just like a ring around the mountains. Let's go look at the ski jump again for free. Now that I know that the ski jump can be seen from our hotel, I gotta see it every day before we leave. So we're here in the main square of Innsbruck in the middle of the old town. And this is the area where everyone comes to meet. It's kind of like a direct crossing of two of the major streets and it's got all these great restaurants and also one of the weirdest place hard rock cafes that I've ever seen. It just, uh, it just doesn't feel like it belongs here but it's always busy all day, day and night so it must be doing something right. One of the coolest things I think about being here is hearing all the different languages that people speak here. We've heard German, French, Italian, and English. It's pretty cool. And of course, free water fountains. So this big old golden roof over here, that's actually just under 3,000 pieces of copper that were dipped in gold, so it's gilded. Along with the ski jump overlooking the whole town are the two symbols of Innsbruck. As in, if you look up Innsbruck on the internet, this is what's gonna pop up. The emperor and his wife used to sit on this little patio, this lanai if you'll call it, with a golden roof so they could observe the festivals and the activities that were happening all across the square. One of the ways that you can tell that the golden roof is so important to the city of Innsbruck is you'll see across all these stores little trinkets of the golden roof tiles or replicas all across the city. This makes me so happy. Just smelling this thing is bringing back so many memories for me. 
So another one of the local delicacies, specialties around here is strudel. And there's savory types of strudels and sweet types of strudel. The one we've got here is one of the sweet kind, apple strudel. And my grandma used to make this and apple dumplings for us all the time when we were growing up. And just having the smell back again just uh, makes me very, very happy. Delicious. Grandma made it better though. That's just how it works. So if you're looking to get one of these while you're here, I think the best place that we found was the Cruel Strudel Cafe. All their portion sizes are really, really big and everything they have there is delicious. Would recommend. It's also a pretty cool place to hang out. This big old chonker right here was about $4.50. This is my first time having an apple strudel. It's really good. Unfortunately, all the tables were taken at the cafe, but luckily the Imperial Gardens, right outside the Imperial Palace or Hofburg, is about a five minute walk. Mm. It's pretty cool that the gardens that were reserved only for the members of the royal family is now open to the public. It's a great place to picnic and enjoy my strudel. It's like we're all royalty now. Oh. Lo, 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 lo. I don't know if that's what this is for, but it's got some nice acoustics. This being Austria, there are obviously lots of great beer gardens all over the city, but I think the best one is the Bierstendel, which is at kind of the top of the hill on the way up to the ski jump. And this is just a beautiful, really large beer garden. The prices are a little bit higher than elsewhere, but you do get this great view of the mountains and the city, and you're, you're kind of up over everything. It's your turn. What are we choosing to do? Cheers to finding the first city that we would ever live in outside of the US. I'll choose that. I'm sure there are more to come. Prost. Innsbruck just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Innsbruck, how to sum it up? It's just got so much to offer. World-class hiking, beautiful mountains surrounding it, affordable and delicious food and drink. It's a young, cool college town mixed with deep, rich history that's small enough to be approachable and friendly and big enough to have everything you'd want to do. And not to mention the surprisingly great nightlife. For now though, we have to get some sleep. We've got an early train to Munich in the morning. But as far as Innsbruck is concerned, how much do you think an apartment costs here? So they, I don't know what it is, is it a patio? Yeah, just, just go okay. wherever you go. <laughs> the, no, Studios. trinkets, no, but what's the word for like... Antiques. No, copying of it. Replicas. The cruel, was the cruel, was the cruel strudel cafe? Man, it's hard to say. Was the cruel strudel, I think the best place we found was the cruel, cruel strudel cafe. That is incredibly hard to say. It's like we're all royalty now. Oh, yeah. I am. 
You are in my heart. Whoa! You try. <laughs> Aloha shirt spotted in Austria.